Romans 1, again, very powerful verses. Forever, verse 20, forever since the world was created. This is living translation, a new living translation. Forever since the world was created, people have been, have seen the earth and sky. Through everything God made, they can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature. His invisible qualities eternal attribute you know the his eternal power and divine nature these two key words very powerful thing we're dealing with something eternal everything you see in this world is temporary even your life is temporary even the family you have is temporary the children that you have is temporary your the wife or husband that you have is temporary we are passing by. In fact, the Bible talks about life in this world. It's like a like a morning dew that comes down by afternoon. It is gone. It's how futile, futile it is, futile it is to chase after the temporary and forget the eternal. That means men and women, men is so messed up in this because you don't know that there's something called eternal. We are chasing like day and night to make more money or get more pleasures from this world in the indulge in the last full world and thinkings, which are all perishing. Some of them are not even righteous before God. So it's got to be consequences, which I'll come next to it. Okay, but the bearing, the contrast is that to be able to do follow God and not to follow yourself or the world or flesh and the world, you have to contrast the eternal attributes of God and um, the temporary attributes of you, of me, of us, of everything, the high, the high rise skyscrapers, the Hong Kong night life, the, the scene of the skyscrapers of Hong Kong, New York, or, or London, or Paris, Eiffel Tower, whatever you see, is temporary. They are going to be gone. So now I just want to emphasize his eternal power. Now the word uses eternal power. God's power does not cease, does not end. It continues and continues and continues. And his divine nature. Now we're talking the divine nature. He's God. All right. Okay. Romans 1 is saying his divine nature and eternal powers is seen in all of the creations in the world. The sky, the earth, and everything in this world. The beautiful air that we breathe. Everything. Okay. So, through everything God made, they can clearly see His invisible qualities. His invisible qualities. So the Romans 1, Paul is arguing that through the sky and the earth and everything, you can see, you, you, you can see clearly His invisible qualities, which is the eternal power, the eternal power, and the divine nature. So they have no excuse for not knowing God. So no one can come to God. I didn't know that you are there or you are God of holiness and righteousness. You demand us this and that. Sorry, you can't say that. Because the fact that you even say that you're taking so much for granted. Imagine somebody give you a million dollars to help you to go to school have a good life, kids, you know, and you don't acknowledge that. But now, here it is. With a God who gives you like a million times more than the million dollars some guy gave you, and you don't acknowledge him, you know what the consequences were not acknowledging him. I'm coming next to it. Verse 21, yes, they knew God, but they wouldn't worship him as God. Or even give him thanks. That's not acknowledging God. First, they don't worship him 
and and uh, they don't even give him thanks. Just take it, enjoy it, and use it. Never thank God for all these things. When bad things happen to their lives, to our lives, we blame God. How is that possible? When good things come, we thank God. When bad things come, we blame God. When good things come, we don't thank God, in other words. But the bad things come, we blame God. So that's the kind of the world we live in. Yes, they knew God, but they wouldn't worship Him as God, even give Him thanks. And they began to think of foolish ideas of what God was like. They began to think of foolish ideas. You know when a man or a woman does not worship God in the truth of the Holy Scriptures in Christ Jesus, his or her mind is going to conjure up false imagery of God to substitute that because you have to. That is a vacuum in a, each man's, each, each man's or woman's soul that is so large you can't ignore it. That's why you got to embrace and acknowledge God or reject Him altogether. But you cannot be indifferent to God because there will be a void that will haunt you. There will be a void that will be too big and dark that you can't handle. It will send a man literally into depression, to darkness. So that is the only way to get out of that is by acknowledging God, worshiping God, thank, thanking God. So they began to think of foolish ideas of what God was like. So you know those people who don't acknowledge God, don't worship God, don't thank God. They begin to think of foolish ideas what God is like to substitute it, like I said. So there will be other things that have become God to them. That's, that's what the idols are. Uh, celebrities, money, fame, sex, lust, anything that, that passionately grip hold of you and go after. And that is the outcome of that kind of situation. And people have gone into that with a bad deal. Bad, bad, bad. Folks, if you're listening, if that's one of you, or if you know anybody of that, get out of that fast. Get out fast and get into God. Okay? Now, as a result, their minds became dark and confused. Their minds became dark and confused. The only reason their mind became dark and confused is because they reject God. They they do not want to acknowledge God. They do not want to worship God. Only because of that, darkness descends upon you. Okay? Confusion come upon you. You know the absence of God is darkness. It's confusion. It's not because there's no light. It's not like, oh, I don't have a torch light or flashlight. Therefore, it is dark. You know, in, in the... In the realism, in the reality world, in the realism world, spiritually, it is God because God is light. Instead of worshiping the glorious ever-living God, they worship idols made to look like mere people and birds and animals and reptiles. You see that? Instead of worshiping the glorious, glorious, why would you trade the glorious God with the with a with a bird, with an animal, with some place in the world, with some celebrity, with money? Why would you do that? Any common sense people would have would have pulled out of it and say, God, I need you. In fact, pulling out is not the answer. It's more coming in to God is the answer. You can pull out until you come to God. Now, verse 24. So God abandoned them to do whatever shameful things their hearts desire. God abandoned them. Now, that's the last straw. Whatever happened, guys, you don't want God to abandon you or your friends. You know, that line is like a red line. Don't cross. 
like but we don't know where the line is you know so we can't judge people i'm gonna pray with all our hearts there's always the prodigal son returning to to god the father is waiting come back my friends because abandon thee what did god abandon them to do to shameful things whatever the hearts desire look at this as a result they did vile and degrading things to each other's bodies they traded the truth of what god about god for a lie so they worship and serve the things god created instead of created himself was with of eternal praise that's why god abandoned them to shameful desires even the women turn against the natural way to have sex and insist to indulge in sex with each other and the men instead of having normal sexual relations with women burned with lust for each other men did shameful things with other men and the result of this in the suffer within themselves the penalty they deserved that's why homosexuality as a result of God's abandonment God abandoned that's the truth the root problem is not the sexuality homosexuality the root that is a that is the consequence that's the result that's a manifestation that the root problem is abandoned by God and they abandoned by God is the result of us refuse to acknowledge God or thank God or worship God. All right, take care guys. Bye.